Hi there, how's it going? Uh, usually don't see my classroom this way because right now it's during exams, they've cleared all the desks out of here. They also did something really nice for me. They polished the floors. You notice how there's some glare on the floor? You can probably see it kind of looking in this area or maybe further off, depending on how this actually turns out, I guess. But that's coming off the lights in here. Now the problem is, I want to get rid of that glare. Well, I could walk around here, I guess, and stuff up the floors, but I don't want to be mean because they've done such a good job of polishing them. So instead, I'm going to use a chloride filter. Because remember, the reason we're seeing this glare on the floor from the lights is because light is coming down from the lights, hitting a shiny surface, and when it hits, any of the waves that are hitting like this get squished. Okay, so we got polarized light. The parts of the light that are like this, going out like this, they don't get polarized because they're not squishing into the floor the same way. So I'm going to have to hold a Polaroid filter in front of the camera lens to show you this. The image might go a little bit funny, just to warn you, because I'm not exactly using the best camera in the world, and I'm just using a plain old-fashioned boring Polaroid filter that I've got for physics class. But by turning it so that I can polarize the light, the glare coming off of here, I should be able to get it so the glare disappears for you. So bear with me. You're going to see the camera bend around a little bit because I'm behind the camera now. Okay, there you can see the floor. Hopefully you can see some of the glare because I can see it pretty well. And I'm just going to take this Polaroid filter and hold it right in front. Okay, now I'm going to start twisting it. And as I twist it, the glare disappears. I keep twisting it and the glare comes back. So glare, no glare. And all because of this little Polaroid filter that I've got right here. Now you've got to ask yourself, when the glare is coming up off of there and you can see the glare and I've got the Polaroid filter in the way, which way the Polaroid filter must actually be facing? The, the, the crystals, if you want to think of it in it, so that you still see the glare and which way the crystals must be aligned so that you don't see the glare. Take a look at some of the pages, uh, some of the stuff on the website and see if you can figure that out. Now I'm going to show you another trick. I'm going to take that same Polaroid filter, okay, and I'm going to hold another Polaroid filter in here. So I've got two of them, okay. There's two Polaroid filters. Now I'm going to take them and I'm going to twist one of them. So only one of them is turning right now. Oh, actually it doesn't show up very well on here. Let me try this. Woo, can you see how it went black? And you can see me, a little reflection of me. In the middle it's black because right now these two Polaroid filters have their crystals uh, perpendicular to each other. If I keep turning it, it goes back. Wacky crazy stuff, right? So a few little fun tricks with Polaroid filters. If you do know anybody that has... Oh, here, I'll stand in front of the camera again so you can see me. I'm back. If you do know anybody that actually has a really nice camera set and can show you how their Polaroid filters work, um, carefully play around with them a bit, see what sort of crazy little stunts you can do with them, and hey, even send me some emails if you try some stuff out. Well, you're basically at the end of the course, so I hope you've learned a lot of stuff in Physics 20. Uh, I hope you're studying hard for your final exams now, and see you around. Bye-bye.